Hello and welcome back to Jaws Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2 and some tips and tricks into making the game more immersive and a way to experience it a lot better. Uh, but before we dive into that, I am saving a bit of a channel update for the end of the video, so stick around for that. Uh, but first, let's jump right on into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is world exploration so the first time i played through the game i thought i'm gonna rush through the story and i'm gonna get the end of the game i'm gonna write a review and it's gonna be amazing and that's that's how it's gonna be well i rushed through the story and it i don't want to say it was underwhelming but i felt like i didn't experience the whole game so luckily for me i made a different video in the middle of that and Auto save got turned. Anyway, half my save got deleted. So I've been replaying through the whole thing, um, luckily, and I've been going out and I've been experiencing the world. And I gotta say, it's really incredible. And the way this really hit me, I was playing the game last night, and I actually wasn't even gonna record any footage, but I did because. I was doing the gunslingers missions, which I had, didn't even attempt to do. I didn't even read the cards. I didn't even have them up on the screen. I, <laughs> I wasn't even sure how to do the rest of that mission until I read the cards uh, yeah. last night, actually. And I'm going up to Flaco Hernandez's area up in the uh, West, Gri West Grizzlies, I believe. And I go up there, and it just hit me like as soon as the music changed in the game. And everything got tense around the camp with Flacco's men, and I immediately popped in my capture device and started recording. It was that good. It just it hits you, and it feels so cinematic. And like Arthur gets off his horse and he's slipping on the ice, and he walks up, and you know there's a tense exchange between you and one of the guards, and they tell you to leave, and as you're going, they start shooting at you. So then you have this big shootout. And then you get Flacco, and he kind of tries to duel you. And anyway, it was just a fantastic way. I, I went around. I did the whole side mission. I I even went up and I started doing other side missions. And it's just incredible how the world pulls you around to these different type of people and these different types of experiences. You know, on one hand, you've got a woman trying to live in uh, what I guess is Rockstar's version of the Appalachians and her husband has just died and you have to teach her how to hunt and it's kind of like a new beginning almost but on the other hand you have a slave catcher in Rhodes so at first you don't know who, what he is or what he does he's just a drunk man talking crazy about how they took everything away from him and then you go and explore his house and he's got this dungeon and you know these shackles where these slaves were held up and you're reading these letters figuring out the story and he has old flintlock pistol that is slaver. Uh, well, I'm guessing his family were slavers before then, and you know he became a slave catcher. Which, if you don't know, you know, being from the South, I know about slave catchers. But if you don't know about them, they are worse than the slave masters. These people are just the scum of the earth. You know, you, you, slaves were already mistreated on the plantations for the most part imagine them going out running away and the people that catch them I don't, I don't even think the game actually did full justice to what depravity would have gone on in that dungeon it, that a man like that is just one of the worst people on earth and what Arthur does I don't think was enough anyway that's besides the point it's semi spoiler not really it's a side quest so it doesn't matter too much uh, but anyway, aside from that, aside from experiencing the world, not just exploring it, um, a great way to do it that I figured out recently, thanks to a tip from a friend, is to turn off the HDR. It makes it so much better. You know, with HDR on, I play on the Xbox One X. The nights look kind of like those movie nights where it's still pretty lit. I turn it off and the tint of the color depending on what part of the country you're in is so much better you get that misty blue in the uh, Roanoke area you kind of get that more dusty feel and roads and you got that the, the greens of the grass and everything pop a lot more and then when it's dark it's 
it's got like an eerie feeling to it the the darkness is so much deeper and it's it feels how it should it's not scary it's just a little eerie like you know you kind of you hear a sound in the woods and you kind of want to look over and see what it is you might pull your gun out or something it's it's really fantastic uh, what they could do because this game was in development long before HDR was going to be put into games like this so I, I can only imagine that it's meant to be played like this more so than with HDR on even though they do have the option it's just not as good visually to me at least I don't know I'm a little colorblind so you know forgive me if it's not anyway that's going to be it for this part. Uh, as far as the channel update, I am doing Twitch now. It's going to be uh, twitch.tv slash jawsgaming33. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, you can catch me on Twitter at jawsgames. Now, another thing about the Amazon Associates program I mentioned uh, a while back um, that will benefit the channel. I will leave links to things that you guys, I think you guys will like whether it's accessories games whatever i'll leave those in the description below um that benefits the channel if if you use those uh for sure and um yeah if there's anything you want to suggest off of amazon for someone else maybe uh just let me know in the comments i'll put it in the description uh make sure to leave a like on the video comment subscribe and I will see you guys next time.